hello everyone today we are going to work on uh, this explosion damage to these characters so if I shoot that barrel explosive barrel over there we can see these characters get thrown away from that barrel and also if I make an explosion with this RPG you can see that also they also react to that explosion as well so this time if I without shooting at the character let me shoot in the middle okay. now they are thrown away from the center of explosion all right let's see how to implement this today right so at the moment uh, if I place this barrel and shoot it it doesn't affect these characters don't care about it so that's what I want to work on today how to get damage from explosions so if I open this explosive barrel uh, what happens is when it hit by a bullet it explode so this explode function is defined here we i have um, uh, developed this explosive component this is a uh, actor component inside this i have defined the code that uh, takes care of exploding and affecting the surrounding actors so here is the code so we uh, we worked on this part previously so what it does is apart from spawning the relevant particle effects and sounds uh, it do a multi sphere phrase and determine surrounding objects and call uh, this on explosion hit function using the clm bpi damageable uh, interface now let me open this character and if i implement that same interface event it should affect these als characters as well so how oh. first let's take a look at the implementation of the function on previous characters we had in the project on explosion hit oh. here on explosion hit event so basically I do is call this damage function the damage macro I have already implemented the same macro in our ALS character as well we did that when we work on the bullet hit part so let me copy the same event into the ALS character everything works except damage we have to connect it like this and right shall we test okay <laughs> now all the characters type but uh, they are not thrown away from the explosion so I get this error uh, any man character mesh simulate physics enabled if you want to add impulse 
but I already enable set all bodies below simulate physics in ragdoll start do we have to do let's try giving the bone pelvis here and see what happens right it works okay so uh, let's see if the same thing happens when I shoot with the RPG. Yeah, but I can't be sure because this also explodes. Yeah, they do react to explosion. Okay so that's that's it they can exp uh, react to explosion one more thing let's try shooting this rpg into ground great okay so i'm gonna stop this episode right here and project files will be available the patron page link would be in the description below thanks for watching see you in another episode goodbye next time i'm going to restore the fire damage so we can damage the character with flamethrower